Hello children, in this video we are going to learn what is the square root of a number. So let's start with a square. In the last videos we learned about a square of a number which is nothing but a number by itself. Here we are going to learn square root of a number. So given a square, let's say this square and we are given its area say 16 centimeters square and our goal is to find the length of each side of this square. How can we do it? We are given area and we need to find its side. So we know area of a square is nothing but square of its side that is side into side or S square. This is what we learned in our last video. But in this particular problem, so given side, we can find its area by using the square operation that is side into side or the product of side into side. But here we are given a problem where area is given and we need to find the side that is reverse operation. So how do we do it? It's nothing but side is equal to square root of A. So just like area is side into side or side square, side is nothing but square root of A and we represent this new operation called square root like this way, a small line, slanting line and a horizontal line. So square root of A is side. So given area you find side by doing a square root operation and vice versa given side and you want to find area you use the square operation which we learned in the last video. So this we learned in our last video and this we are going to learn in this video that is given an area of a square how do we find the length of its side using square root operation. So finding square root is nothing but an inverse operation of square. So coming to the same problem again given area is 16 centimeters square the side would be square root of the area that is square root of 16 which is nothing but 4 because we know 4 into 4 is equal to 16. So square root of 16 is 4. So each side is 4 cm long. So let's see some of the common square roots. If area is given as 1 cm square, its side would be square root of 1 which is going to be same as 1. If area is given as 4 cm square, the side would be square root of 4 which is going to be 2 cm long. If the area of square is 9 cm square, then it's each side would be square root of 9 that is 3 cm and so on. In a generic way we can say if an area of square is n cm square then it's each side would be square root of n cm long. Let's take some example. 14 square is nothing but 14 into 14 which is equal to 196. So this is the square operation of a number. 14 square means 14 into 14 which is equal to 196 and vice versa we can say square root of 196 is what? Square root of 196 is nothing but square root of 14 square and you can cancel the square root and the square operation because they are both inversely they are both reverse operations so what you are left is 14. So square root of 196 is equal to 14. You can see both square and square root are inverse operations. Square of 14 is 196 and square root of 196 is 14. So when you use square root you are reducing the number when you use the square, you are increasing the number. 14 square means 14 into 14 which is 196. 14, 14 times. And square root means square root of 196 is 
14 because its square get cancelled with the square root sign and you're left with 14 or in other words you can say square root of 196 is nothing but square root of 14 into 14 because we know 196 is 14 into 14 and you can cancel this square root sign with 14 because there are two of them so you're left with 14 so square root of 196 is 14 let's take another example 625 square root we know 625 is nothing but 25 into 25 so we can write square root of 625 is equal to square root of entire big line 25 into 25 the entire thing is inside the square root and we can cancel this square root and this thing away so we are left with 25 so square root of 625 is nothing but 25 or vice versa 25 square is equal to 625 so to close this video I have just written certain numbers here and their correspondingly square root so square root of number 1 is 1 4 is 2 square root of 9 is 3 square root of 16 is 4 square root of 25 is 5 and so on you should remember some of these square roots because these are easier to remember but how do you find out square root of any given number we are going to learn in our next video so in this video hope you understood what is the use of square root given say for example an area of a square of any size you want to find its side you use the square root operation so that's all in this video children bye bye